It's just like I could never do an unboxing and not bring you guys along because what do I mean? <laughs> Let's see what's this. Mm. 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 What is this? Oh, it's cotton pads. Oh, wow. They've put them in here. This is so dope. Oh, beautiful. It's just cotton pads in here. Yep, this is dope, it's in this Garnier thingy. And then we also have the Garnier Vitamin C Micellar Water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh wow, spoiled much. And we have the Huda Puda Beauty Beauty Blender. So exciting. And we also have these foundations. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, in a today jug. 10.5. And then this is 10. I like foundations that are a bit darker than me because then it helps when I, like, not that it helps, but like I can just highlight and contour if they're darker. If it's lighter, it's going to be a mission. But yeah, so they gave me 10 and 10.5. Can't wait to try it out. Period. Hi guys, welcome to day. I don't know what day of this vlog is. I feel like this vlog is so all over. It's because I'm not shooting this vlog in my happy era, okay? I'm not a happy girly. Today is, what is it today? Today is Thursday, right? It's the 21st. It is, I don't know, it's a holiday. I don't know what holiday it is, Sha. But it's a holiday, okay? So yeah, I am getting ready to shoot for Maybelline, the stuff that I received earlier in the vlog. And... I'm also shooting Clo Brides and I'm also shooting Clo Brides. So I'm really struggling with my natural lighting because I'm depending solely on natural lighting. I don't want to switch on these lights. And it looks like it's about to rain. So Maru Akwait, I don't know what you call Maru Akwait in English. The Mar have Gual. Okay. The Mar have Gual. Anyway, yeah, that's what's up. Guys, yesterday was my boyfriend's birthday. He left in the morning. At 9 o'clock, he was out this house and he was going back to the country he's in. <laughs> Yo, I was depressed. <laughs> I was so depressed because I had planned everything for us to do in the evening. But it didn't come to pass. Also, when he got to the airport, I don't know what happened. You know, his flights were delayed and stuff like that. He only got that side like later on in the evening and he was very exhausted. The night before, we drank that thing. Guys, we drank that colon cleansing thingy and we were running to the bathroom like crazy people. Guys, like you literally sit down for two minutes. Then you have to stand up and go to the bathroom and go search yourself out, doll. <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom and search yourself out, doll. Like it was crazy. It was so, so crazy. But we have planned something cute. Like we've planned like we're going to do a date. Like we're going to do a cell phone date. So we're going to be on video call. And then we'll just date on video call. Like we'll go on a date. Like a date like we had planned. Because we just planned a, a, a date for the evening for his birthday. That's what we were going to do. But he had to fly out. It was sort of an emergency that he had to go back. So yeah. It was really sad. Yo, it was sad. But I had to give it right, you know. Anyway, so yeah. I'm stressing because I have these two pimples over here and they're very visible. And I always tell you guys, one thing I don't do is I can't pop pimples. Like I don't pop pimples. I let them die down on their own. I also have one this side and I'm doing a skin video. Like does it make business sense? <sighs> I don't know if it makes business sense, seriously. This eyelash, yeah, because I don't know why my eyes are so watery. Like it's a lot and yeah i just thought let me come and sort of talk to you guys because i haven't really spoken to you guys in a minute 
and yeah guys that's that on that i did this install myself point blank period i cut the edges because i feel like the edges that i had at the at the graduation maybe the thing is the the wig was still very new and i obviously did not want to mess it up or anything like that that's also why i feel like i went to go install by the lady but i feel like i mean i did a very decent job you know i did a very decent job myself child one thing about it two things about it all right let me shoot this content so i can edit you guys i will catch up with you again maybe a bit later maybe on another day where we're doing something because i know the previous vlog we were so homebound i was actually sick of it <laughs> that vlog i was so sick of the fact that we're so at home we're so in the house and i told you guys that stuff comes to an end so i don't know i have i have i have things lined up i want to go try out a new restaurant that i heard of this around the area and then i also want to then i'm gonna do the date with my boyfriend for his birthday celebration so i'm just not sure which one is gonna come first so yeah i'll probably bring you along on both days until then toodles do you remember, remember? Do, give it to me, Jo, Jo, Jo. Ja, Jo, Ma, Shaki, Ti, Bo, Bo. Skeve, Le, Babi, Jo, Ma, Chabi, Babylon. Nade, No, Konyo, Do, Do, Do. Give it to me, Jo, Jo, Jo. Ja, Jo, Ma, Shaki, Ti, Bo, Bo. Ay, Bo, Skeve, Le, Babi, Jo, Ma, Chabi, Babylon. Nade, No, Konyo, Do. Ay, Bo. This is my damn job. Good morning. Hi, guys. Today is Saturday. It's the 24th, 23rd. Ciao. Uh, I'm on my way to a little cute breakfast date, you know, because why not? <laughs> the thing about it is I'm going to have load shedding at uh, at 2 o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to open you. Why are you not opening? What is this? Eh? I want to take the water out now. Hey, no, wow. I have load shedding at... Jesus Christ. I have load shedding. Sorry. I have load shedding at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Eh? right now it's half past nine in the morning my date i wanted it to be for 10 o'clock then i'm back home like around 12 o'clock but now i'm thinking must i just do a lunch date because i won't have power at two o'clock but i feel like the energy that i have right now i want to go use it there to eat <laughs> my breakfast <laughs> i want this energy that i have to go use it there at the breakfast place you know it's a very nice spot i actually clocked it there by food lovers at stonebridge i'm having my clove brizzy it is in the morning so you know anyway yeah i clocked it there by stone ridge at the food lovers and i was like huh this place is cute it's giving summer i don't know about this gloomy weather child because and that place is such an outdoorsy kind of place and i feel like i want to go there and be very summer you know what i mean why is everything struggling to close or more chineke? Anyway, this is how I keep my thing in this. This is how I close this frother. Rather, because, hey, guys, I don't trust anything and I don't trust anyone. There could be jams everywhere. So, yeah, guys, I thought, let me just come here and sort of like update you on that. Oh, see, that's where I'm headed. Have my clove brizzy. What is a vlog? <laughs> Guys, I'm this this morning. Excitement link it. And I'm going to post next. I'm going to next. You see, what is a vlog if I'm not standing in the kitchen giving you some sort of speech or doing glow brights? I think in the other vlog, I actually didn't do my glow brights with y'all. Next time, if I vlog and I don't do glow brights, please smack the screen. Smack your TV screen. Break the screen. Break the TV. Break your phone and ask me, madam, where is the glow brights? This thing, guys, it really came in handy. Like, it really came in so handy. I love it. That's where we hit it, you guys. That is where we hit it. Before I go, let me get more energy. This thing also gives me energy, so I'm getting more energy, child. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, guys, and another thing. Yesterday... We got a delivery from one of us. Mainly to one of us, I'm talking about us, Bumtualane. Please don't think I'm in a cult. Don't think we are a cult. We are not a cult. This is not a cult, guys, please. When I say one of us, I'm not talking about a cult. I'm talking about Bumtuala. When I say one of us, I mean one of Bumtuala, you know. So she owns a sunglass store. It's an online sunglass store. And she hit me up and she's like, Mtuala, can I send you something for the girls? And I said, I bet, like, say less, dog. Another thing you need to know is that this phone 
sometimes i'm out of focus it's not focusing on me it's blurry this is how her, her packaging looks so cute i love this packaging so much i think she did a great job splendid spectacular marvelous Ooh, and that's how it looks inside and she's got very well so through that's how it looks in there very nice maybe one pair of the glasses because what do you mean it's gloomy outside hey oh these are beautiful guys wow let us see them on me all right all right all right big face all right big face okay also having this wig on is not helping us but we're gonna try and make it happen yeah Oh no. Hey, big face now. Nah. What is this? Jesus Christ, guys. Oh no. What is all this? Are you looking at me, neighbor? Okay, it's not sitting straight. Uh, okay, here's how they look. I like these. Oh, I like these glasses, guys. Oh, I like them so much. I like them. I usually go for clearer glasses. But I mean, this is also very beautiful. These look absolutely gorgeous. They're very nice. They're very, very gorgeous. I absolutely like them. I feel like well, my glasses are in general. If you have a look, go ahead. If you have a look, so if you have a look, so if I get a top of pain, ah, you need to dress up doll. To dress up doll. I like these glasses. They're very cute. Let's put them back in here. Added black sunglasses to my collection. I actually don't own black sunglasses, which is crazy. I only have those LV ones, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then let's see this one unboxing aesthetics. Oh my gosh, Instagram! <laughs> Such a clown, don't mind me. Ooh. These ones are the ones that they call Bottega dupes, baby. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Bottega do Bottega original Angrinida, but these are gorgeous, guys. This ah, these glasses are beautiful. These glasses, they're lying. They they screaming lugs. I love them so much, man. They're like your turn. Your rot. Oh my god! Don't mess up my wig now. Oh gosh, is that what? They're not sitting straight now because the wig is in the way. Damn. Like is it a skew because of this wig? I usually don't like glasses with the plastic. What do you call these plastic pads? The nose pads. I hate those nose pads. But this is gorgeous. Ah, guys, get caught for again. I get caught for. I get you, girl. I get you, girl. My figure class in. I like them. I absolutely like these. These are cute and they're not touching me here. So this is also another whole day, point blank period. Let me show you guys my outfit of the day before we fight. Am I clear? All right, see, before we fight, it's a big fight. Should I just wear these glasses, guys, to the breakfast day? Ah, oh, these glasses are awesome. What? What? These glasses, I just wanted to see myself in full view, doll. Full view, doll. Should I just wear these glasses, guys? I feel like I should just wear these glasses. Hey, what do you guys think? <sighs> and guys man okay this is how i look this is my skirt i bought the skirt from shein these shoes are also from shein my anklet is from shein this bodysuit i don't remember where i got it it's a, just a black bodysuit guys i mean you can get these at zara you can also get these from shein and i'm going to carry my my chanel bag that i got from shein as well okay i love this bag so much and i think it's going very well with my outfit guys should i wear these glasses yo should i wear these glasses i feel like i want to wear these glasses you guys like i really feel like i want to wear these glasses <sighs> well my glasses and are they going well with my outfit that's the other thing i have in mind oh i'm gonna see i'm out with these glasses are go oh! love skin I'm sure I, I hope I'm not butchering your name, babe. I'm sorry. I think your name is Love Skein, yeah? Love Skein? Hi. Guys, I think he's a. It's a key I'm such a clown, guys. Let's go in and break first.
I just got here. I want to sit outside because outside the vibes are nicer, but it's already occupied, so serves me for being late. There's a corner chair I want to sit at, but it's already occupied, so anyway, let's see what I can have for breakfast. Tell them quit that cap. Niggas ain't get no money. Tell them quit that cap. Yeah. Ain't it be relaxing? You need to do your taxes. Mm -hmm. We went triple platinum. I want to get no nagging. Made it happen. Young and I had that bottom body. Made it happen. Yeah. I don't want to make no friends. Put me to my head. Okay, period, period, boo, period. I don't know, can you see me? Ah, uh -uh, this thing, red thing. Guys, I even got my favorite wine because it's a celebration. I just clocked 10k. <sighs> I just want to say, you know what? No speeches today because God is good. One thing about him is not from your hood, he's not from your village. Like, Guys, when God shows up, he shows off, okay? Yesterday, I, very, I got a very beautiful email from Oli. Remember, guys, I'm at Girl Bright. I'm working under Oli. So, Polly's like my manager. So, she gives us feedback and she tells us what to do, what not to do. She gives us tips. She gives us guidelines. Like, she's guiding us, basically. You know what I mean? So, she sent me... I don't even think this should be public knowledge, but I just wanted to share with you guys, like, because I think it was between her and the director, but the director was basically talking about how much they love my work. I got to be kidding, you man, I got to be attacking, you know, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, one, one person's trash is another person's treasure. One day when I'm able to talk openly about this, I'll be able to share with you guys, but I remember that I come from where... I was no longer needed, you know, but I wasn't being told directly that I suck dingy, the news are my him him, like around me, which is a suck fun, you know, and I'm gonna change to Vanek, which is due to Satan. I knew this morning that there's no way I'm gonna wake up with so much energy. This morning we were on 9981, literally, when I woke up this morning, we were on 9981. And I was like, I will probably clock this on Tuesday when I upload. Because I know every time I upload, usually <clears throat> that's when we pick up. You know what I mean? So I was like, I'll see this on Tuesday when I upload. Hi, well, I'm sitting at the restaurant and then I'm having my breakfast like that. Next thing I know, it said 10.5K. I said, you people are playing with me. It's not 10.5, eh? It's 10,000 and 5,000. What is it? It's 10 and 5. 10 people, 10,000 people plus 5 people. Eh, that's that one. It be like, I think it's high, bro. I'll sing this dude since I can't just guys we're gonna break my drinking break this is a break 10k to celebrate the 10k it's 10 k so yeah guys I just wanted to say thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you it's been seven months we celebrated 1k in August 2023 it's March it's the 23rd of March seven months and we are on 10k it's crazy business anyway i wanted to i really wanted from the bottom of my heart to do something with at least like 10 dollars something like a cute lunch on but i'm not one to try and live beyond my means i don't have the budget for that but should anything change i mean we can still celebrate 10k even when we get to 12k because i feel like 10k is one of the biggest k's you know what i mean 
And like I said, every time I reach a milestone, my man is never around to celebrate with me. I really want to celebrate with people that are always, always there. You know what I mean? So you guys are always, always there. My man is always, always there. But he's never there for milestones, which is sad or sad. I mean, there physically, he just sent me a text saying congratulations. So, I mean, I can't even dance what I dance for you. I will dance for you. I, tonight I want to dance for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to try and do something with you guys. I'm just not gonna be certain as to dates and when, but as soon as I feel like I'm in the I'm in a good space or a good place to do that, I definitely wanna do that. So yeah, enough yep, yep. I'm going to sit and celebrate this one today. Tomorrow we're gonna go out for a nice lunch to celebrate 10k. Everything I do from this point onward, celebrating 10k. Point blank period. Mazel tov, you guys. Cheers. Ah. Hi guys, today's Sunday. I'm out. Uh, I'm about to head out. Also, Moshe Zuki, so you are at Guys, I'm wearing this dress again because I need pictures. Ooh, water. Show me. Sabonaga la water, right? Oh okay, there we are, guys. Take us through your outfit. This is frame. Okay. Okay. Where's your dress from? Your shoes? Okay, my dress is from the fakes. Okay. My shoes are from the Jets. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. My dress is Mr. Price. My shoes are actually the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> my shoes are actually the Jets as well. It's these cute little toppies. Oh, okay. Then my bag is from China Moili. My hair is in Bali. Oh my gosh, this room is such a mess. We're waiting for our Uber and we're going to go have some Sunday fun day. Yes! First time having jollof and Papa Ranji. Always mimicking Nigerian accents. My first time having jollof and it is going the if up. Mm. 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 Zugi is having a furry roll. We are going to eat the F furry roll. It's so nice. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Delectable. Mm. Nigerians are going to cuss me out. <laughs> How are you having a, a margarita with your love? Wow, so girl. Gucci. <laughs> this is like we should be drinking food. pounded wine. Mm. Ma Ma Try. So what do you call it in Nigerian? A ferrero. A ferrero. A ferrero. We should be having pounded wine, not this, uh, not mm. this margarita stuffs. Ne? Oh yeah, it's in the food. Oh yeah, we must eat. Mm -hmm. mm. The tech is not falling off the bone, which is making me, mm -hmm. missing me off. Very full of sand, right? Yeah, full of sand, right? Yeah, full of sand, right? Yeah, I want to mention that I tried to put it on my belly, so that...
You must be drinking a banana juice. You must be drinking panda wine. I just woke up now let me tell you one thing i did not miss about drinking is the hangovers because one thing about it me i take about six business weeks to recover <laughs> good morning i hope this thing is focusing because if it's not focusing i'm gonna be mad i just woke up guys yesterday ethnic was so beautiful guys i love ethnic i feel like i want to go to ethnic every week or a monthly or a monthly that place is nice the food is beautiful the drinks just amazing amazing i love it the the manager ended up sending us shots guys like we, had, we were having shots on the house i even went on an instagram live and i was busy talking too much i was like hey because yeah <laughs> it's so nice it is so beautiful it was beautiful like i loved everything about it and i was on a call with Uzubi just now and she said that she left me some food i was like why didn't you take the food friend because you're going to work so she ended up having wings yesterday um so she's left me wings and then she also left her eferero I, i'm sure she, i don't think she enjoyed her eferero <laughs> um is cow go is this goat meat is this goat meat yes goat um and eferero and my turkey we put it in here so that's what i'm gonna have right now i'm gonna try and oh because i'm gonna need to heal and I'm gonna have cranberry juice as well because I'm fine. Hi, bo. Hi, hi, bo, guys. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys. Ne, let me tell you one thing about God. Ne, He doesn't play with these people. That's what you need to know. Like God has like a Ah, Papa, when it comes to his people. The one thing I didn't enjoy, to be honest. Sorry, before I continue, one thing I didn't enjoy is the yam. I'm not gonna lie. Yam tastes like nothing. Like I not taste. And everything else is very flavorful and spicy, yeah, blah, blah. but the yam is very quiet. I didn't really enjoy the yam, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have my Ferrero with yam or I'm just gonna have my Ferrero alone. Guys, I was saying, would see God doesn't play with his people, and the reason why I'm saying this is because we are working with Julia yet again. Julia could have easily given up on me, they could have said, you know what, this girl is full of jokes, she's full of crap. You know, we sponsored an entire shoot for her and she didn't deliver. And, you know, they could have said easily in Jerusalem as full of seven analysis, but they're not like that. <laughs> One thing about them, they're not like that. They've sent me something here. Uh, there we go. Hey, I know my aesthetics. I know my aesthetics. I know my aesthetics. I'm obviously gonna do an unboxing, a proper unboxing to show you guys. They, it comes with the stuff, and there we go. I will show you nicely. I'm I'm not sure on which vlog. I need them to tell me when I should go live with the campaign, and then yeah, we'll do the unboxing together. Today's a Monday. It is ten o'clock at the moment, so. I'm gonna do my reset. I think I'm gonna do my reset in the afternoon today because I need to recover. My head is pounding 
and you are sana. Hi, I'm Zola. Today is Wednesday. Hi, guys. Today is Wednesday. It, it, what time is it? Where's my phone? Hold someone. Hold someone. Hold someone. Hold someone. What time is it? Actually, it is five o'clock in the evening. Um, I just finished shooting two videos. I just shot a uh, get ready with me. I was achieving this look, and I was also giving you guys a story time as I promised. Then I also did a Q and A. I asked you guys questions regarding your dilemmas with men or people in general that you felt like i didn't know who this person was until i didn't know who this person was so yeah i was reacting to that and yeah i just got done and also guys another thing i realized now my tiktok account is growing and i'm just like why you know i never let me be very honest i was never paying attention to my tiktok account until now where i'm just like how did i get to 22 22 000? followers on tiktok and when i checked my analytics because also tiktok has analytics i was like oh people actually like my afrobeat sessions and i'll be singing along to afrobeat music because it's the only thing i listen to to be quite honest i told you guys it's like i only listen to afrobeats and gospel music i don't listen to i'm a piano i can't stand i'm a piano i don't understand what they're saying i don't like the music it's not it doesn't move me you know the only song i like from i'm a piano at the moment is imitandazo by young stana cups as a small reason or Caesar alakine whatever yeah that's about it but like i'm not too much of a piano head like that so like i only realized that people actually like my afrobeat session so i was like i feel like i really neglect my tiktok so what i do is like i'll just post on instagram and just post on tiktok simultaneously every single time but i never really realized that actually people do really like my afrobeat sessions on tiktok so i was like oh okay so i was also just shooting tiktoks i'm busy editing my tiktoks and also uploading that so today is a i'm having a field day with content sure i'm having a field day with content today so the reason why i really wasn't so like being a too serious at tiktok is because i think i also want to say this to you guys like i really want to take it seriously but i'm so scared of tiktok it's really overwhelming because i feel like tiktok is full of people from twitter right? but they're really shielding themselves like i was part time actually, guys because like i feel like you know there was that thing where you'll find south africans under a lot of american people or like people from abroad comment section and they'll be speaking in vanek and it used to be only those comments of utin manim kuza utin manim and stuff like that but now it has gotten even so toxic where they will do that and then they will start to speak in vanek and body shame them like utin manim like the other one was so hurtful this lady you can see she's obese she's just started gym but see, and i'm just like no like i don't want to partake in this even though i wouldn't i wouldn't comment under the ones where they'd be like i would just watch those and just laugh it would just be for banter i feel like it was banter until it was no longer banter so that's why i was so terrified of the tiktok and i feel like you know social media as a whole it needs you to approach it with a pinch of salt and um, as much as you have like your subscribers and your followers and stuff like that you also need to have support and backup from like people that know you personally like your friends loved ones type of thing you know so i'm very grateful that i have my friends around and i have my boyfriend around who i can always bounce off ideas off of you know the other day i was like to not the other day even only i was always i'm always like to him what you gonna do when i open an only fence and he's like i would never stop you from opening an only fence because i want you to live your best life i'm not guaranteeing you that i'm gonna be with you throughout your only fence business but i would never want you to not open only fans because you're with me so so that you can say my boyfriend held me back from doing things that i love to do if you feel like only fans is something you love to do go for it and i was like this man is so supportive like me personally if he had asked me if it's okay for him to open only fans i'll tell him no straight up personally i'll say no straight up but his reasoning is always like that because so i always you know <laughs> i'm always so happy that i'm i'm with a 50 year old because his, re his reasoning is always over mine. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to say to you today. Uh, I'm very happy. Like, I feel very content, guys. Like, you know, every time after I've recorded, I always feel so, like, accomplished. I feel full. I feel like, you know, my, my lace is lifting. It's been lifting all day long. 
but my videos are eating so whatever you do don't skip the ads watch the videos watch the story time watch the q a go to tiktok engage with my videos show me love show me support and guys when we meet on the 27th don't expect this energy because i'm not this person in real life <laughs> i don't know in real life i'm the most awkward person ever i'm just always like hi you know even a uh, day before when was it no yesterday yesterday i went to the mall i met two mtualas and then i was like hi and mtuala was like mtuala you look tired like are you tired to greet me are you tired in general i'm like I don't know which one it is, my love, but hi. <laughs> I'll get used to it, guys. Like, everything is just, yeah, kala with a hala for this. I'm just like, I'll get used to it. And uh, when I get used to it, for now, don't judge me. Don't sit me. Like, for now, I'll be fine. I'll get used to it. Have a good evening. Bye. Oh, that is so I annoying. Hi guys, today is Thursday. Um, I was just watching Real Housewives of what you call it. I just finished Durban. I'm just watching the reunion now for Lagos. And I get a call and I have a delivery from RMX. The truth is, I am hoping it's something that I manifested on the channel, which I was in communication with a certain company about. If it's that, I'm going to scream and roll on the ground. <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Let us open it. I, sh I just want to, let's just do this so that my address is not showing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know, if it's what I manifested on this channel, all I can say to you is... If it's what I manifested on this channel, all I can say to you is the power of manifestation. Can you see it? You can't see my address, man. All I can say to you is manifestation is important. Why Okaridi? That's all. to you guys that i want to start working with hair companies inshallah they're gonna start recognizing me immediately after that vlog i got an email from a beautiful lady called jenny from ali pearl hair period move period that's the power of manifestation and that's on god and that is on Your dreams are valid. Your your whatever you whatever you want to achieve is very valid. You can do it. You can do it. Okay? Don't ever let anyone tell you you cannot. Don't never ever ever feel like you cannot. Don't ever feel like you're not enough. Don't ever feel like you cannot. You can do it. Okay? I know it's not a big deal to somebody else, but to me it is because it's the beginning of many more. Period. 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 What? Oh, guys, we got some. Hey, your dreams are valid. Whatever you think you can achieve, you can achieve even more than that. That's what God will also prove to you. You can achieve more than what you think that you can achieve. This is the beginning of bigger, greater, higher heights. That's on period. You will obviously see a separate video with regards to this. Shout outs to Ali Pro. Period. Period. Guys, I just finished recording the review for this hair. By the time you see this vlog, this hair would have been out. Julia would have been out. Everything I mentioned in this vlog would have been out by the time you see this vlog. So anyway, I just finished filming this vlog. This hair. 
earlier on this morning i went to the mall i was talking to you guys i'll insert a clip here i was talking to you guys and i realized that because i was speaking a bit lower like i was speaking softly and you, you wouldn't hear what i was saying but i was basically saying i'm in the mall and i don't know if the shops were open but valid the shops were open because i went there like at nine o'clock i was already there and i was going to this camp because i needed some stuff um like i needed a roll on i needed lip gloss and, and a few cosmetics and jay and then i went to foshini because i had lay by shoes remember when i went to go buy those dresses i bought the dresses and i was like i'm like i'm overspending you know and i didn't want to do that so i lay by some shoes and bring them hold on hold so um here are the shoes i like them so much oh when they're in munch okay whatever i like these shoes so much you guys I've seen them uh, I've seen them a lot, you know. It says Bele, but I'm like, I'm joining the squad. <laughs> I like this very very that's happening here. How much were they? Yeah. Okay, I had to pay 110. I don't know how much they were, but my balance was 110. So yeah, I went to go. Oh, they were 450. Yeah, my balance were my balance were my, my balance were my balance was 110 that's what i paid and yeah and auntie t actually so i remember my mom used to lay by things eh? but as a grown-up adult i used to be like for me it doesn't make business sense to lay by just buy the scene now just spend the money it's okay so i but now when that day something clicked in me something was like auntie t actually said you like lay by like you know what i mean so i was like okay let me just take out my lay by let me just lay by because i'd already like bought two dresses and another i bought three dresses and I was like, and I don't want, I didn't want to leave any of the dresses. You know what I mean? I did not want to leave any of the dresses. So I was like, I like these shoes. I'm a lady. Guys, you can't tell me this hair is not growing from my scalp. Are you joking? Are you joking? Look at this. Look at this. Are you joking? Are you joking? I'm going to now film some TikToks because I told you I'm in my TikTok era. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Guys, you must tell God, you know, whatever he's doing with me, he needs to continue to do it. Like when you sit down and you chat to him, tell him what you, we see what you're doing for that girl continue to do that for the girl because i mean he's doing a number on me like ah, guys this hey hey and during the week on instagram i kept on seeing like laces and i was like you know the day i buy a wig i need to buy a wig with the lace that's like lace wear the girl is like lace wear but i can see the lace i see the lace but you can't see the lace you're lying you're, li you're lying if you're saying you're seeing the lace what hey guys bye bye i want to film some tiktoks I'll chat to you guys later. <laughs> Beatrix, personally, I just want this part to pass. Let them crown the winner and let's keep it pushing because what is all this? Sana. What an anticlimax, Sana. He's already so arrogant, this guy. Now that he has money, he's gonna be worse. But shout out to him.